Hey everyone, it's Dave here and today we'll be looking at the alpha stage of Hyperstacks. Now again, this is something that it's not new at all. Essentially nowadays I'm shuffling through the titles on AppLab and just like, searching for something very much worthwhile to actually do a video because at this point there's so much shit on there that I'm not like disregarding the developers but there's literally everything there. Like I wish there would be some sections to shuffle or just some organization because this is just a big pile of something. I understand the competition between Oculus and SideQuest but it's getting a little bit ridiculous. Like it's actually Steam green light all over. Anyway, so Hyperstacks is an adventure puzzle game when you essentially morph into a robot that travels across the levels and fights with various creations along the way, say it, the traps, hostile robots and challenging parkour schemes. It's like you would reimagine those old school adventure games where you essentially create your own levels and publish it to the public. The game is set in a very cool art style. I wouldn't say the whole charm of it comes across through that. It's definitely something unique that I didn't see in any VR project so far. It's in a development that is still very early. Pretty much the only thing you can do there is play the levels created by the community and whatever you want to create at the same time with an in-built feature to create your own worlds. I would say it has actually a lot of potential since it uses a lot of mechanics that is not very much mainstream in VR development and the whole concept works. But with those projects it's a common problem that relying on the content of your own community all the time is not gonna cut it in the long run because it has to have something to start with. It's kinda repeating the same situation that happened with Health Physics Lab. At first it just had sandbox to play with and when it really on the official store you could play like a campaign-esque missions to start with the gameplay. I'm pretty sure from my research it already is in the work in progress so that's fun but you know we're still in VR so it's not like it's gonna blow up and there are some fun levels to play but it's just hard to judge something that lets your own creativity go wild if there's actually content to play. Nevertheless the game is cool as hell so I'm very interested in how it's gonna go and the future of it. Here goes the footage from my first impressions. Why do we have a login? Like in Pokemon I would understand because of the account but like okay. Really nice of you to take the time out of your day to put a giant pair of hot goggles on your head and test hyperstacks. <laughs> Let me show you just a bit about how everything works at the moment. <gasps> Please. Oh, yes, I love that introduction. Hey, come over here. Come press this button with your hand. Just so you know, I won't be able to go with you, but you should learn as much as you can so that you can create some cooler levels. And once you understand everything, I'll be back here to help you whenever you need it. Touch that white ball. You complete the levels by touching the ball. Okay. I vote. You can climb the blue neons. So we were like moving in space. Is that like a climbing game then? Wait. <laughs> can I launch myself? Yeah, okay. Very lightly, it's not like high gravity or something. Oh, there's another one here. Whoa, <laughs> that's not that easy. I'm like failing in the tutorial menu. <laughs> Got it. Try slapping the block. Slapping? Why not punching? <laughs> okay. The music is pumping. You can send the block further by punching inside. You mean like that? Ah, okay. Oh, I can climb it then. Okay. You can send the blocks further by. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Wait. How do I do this? I just crossed it, okay. Ow, shit! Oh, whoa. <laughs> I guess I can just stay in one place because I have health bars. It's not like killing me instantly, okay. That's fair. <laughs> It's time to give you the power of the weapons. Shoot this. Oh, whoa, wait. <laughs> Shoot downwards? That weapon should be like a little bit upwards. I should have just shot it like straight up here, but I aimed down for some reason.
Now press some of your controller buttons until your phone disappear. That's the inventory button. Okay. <gasps> A ball! Oh yes. I think the aim is... Okay, in the bow actually, which is kinda weird. The gun is kinda curved, but the bow is fine. What is this? Whoa. Oh, this is like a shuriken, but like, it's like around you. Nice. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh wait, I can just block this projectile? Nice. This is not my weapon at all. <laughs> Give me something. Uh, Apple. No, no, I don't want this. <laughs> Oh wait, it goes through him? Why? <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh, damn! Okay, I mean, I'm a bowman myself, so that's why it works for me. Oh, activated the traps like that. <laughs> Congrats, endure this last level. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, damn. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Again. <laughs> damn it. Why it's not connecting? Here we go. Yay, it does real. That was fun! Give up. Let's get going. Much more NPCs on the lobby and play NPC, campaign mode, improve user space. Okay, so it's still intervent like that. So I'm assuming this is gonna be like, you know, a campaign mode up until it's gonna release. Can I access this arcade though? I'm not gonna jump. I think it's missing textures. <laughs> I can enter, but I think there's nothing here. Yeah, <laughs> this is like we just have levels created by the community, basically. I want something, like, easy. <laughs> I think the filter doesn't work. <laughs> what about the puzzle called Hell? That's appropriate. Where's my weapon? <laughs> okay. Sure. Oh, damn it! <laughs> Um, I think I spawned myself in the wrong place. Okay. <laughs> I like this title. What is this thing? Oh. Is that it? Hmm. <laughs> um. <laughs> What's actually going on? Oh, there's nothing here. Get them. <laughs> world 1-1. One, one. This is an attempt to make World 1-1. One, one. <laughs> it was done memory... Okay, I can't complain about this grammar. Oh, shit! <laughs> I don't think I get it. <laughs> Ah, I just have to defeat the enemies, like, on the blocks here. Nope. Cool. 
Jako. How do I absorb it though? There's not like a designated pattern for it for some reason. Wait, why do I have blades on the sides? <laughs> what? Huh? Oh, I hold a hand in air like that? That was not explained in the tutorial though, so that's why I'm confused. Got it now. Okay. So I'm gonna play something most upvoted. I mean, this one was the most, so I guess maybe this, the playing fun. Try to get to the end. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well. Is this it? <laughs> I hope not. Just... Okay, walking is faster. <laughs> Here we go, some speed. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Works too. Oh, damn. <laughs> That looks like hell. <laughs> Weapons? I guess let's go, I don't know. <laughs> oh no, that just points, okay. Come to me! <laughs> I guess that's it, okay. No. <laughs> well, this game is pretty fun. It's like in heavy development, I can't tell. I hope it's not gonna like rely all the time on just committee to create levels or whatever, because it seems like it's something like a sandbox, but more into puzzle kind of arcade gameplay. I can definitely say that the soundtrack design and just like the overall concept is really good, but I hope like campaign or just like anything in general, aside from just creating levels, will be added eventually, because I just like having a guidance from just official source. That's pretty much it. That's the same situation I had with hand tracking labs. Like at the start it was just pure sandbox and just nothing else and now since it's on the official store it has like a campaign per se but you're not just relying on your creativity by itself you can do some sort of a progression system and have a point in just playing but i'm looking forward to more features